I was born in Brooklyn. Uh, I was adopted at the age of two by a Puerto Rican family. Uh, grew up in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. And then, um, you know, back then it was really difficult because I was the only uh, person of color in a predominantly white area. And it was still that time in the 70s where certain neighborhoods you could not walk through if you were this race. And if you went that way, you'd, you'd have uh, what happened to me. Bottles were thrown at me, rocks were thrown at me. I was called nigger, I was called spick. I was like maybe six, seven years old walking alone. This is when back in the days when your parents would let you walk to school. And I just had no idea what were these words that were being called to me. And um, unfortunately, you know, a lot of fighting, <laughs> a lot of, um, uh, a lot of uh, I guess you could say racism, but I didn't know what racism was, you know. So I would always tell my mom, you know, whose complexion was different than mine, you know, mommy, like, what, you know, what, what's going on? Why, why do these people uh, say things and why do they throw rocks at me? You know, why do they throw bottles at me? And she's like, you know, don't worry, baby, you know, it, it's okay, don't worry. We, we just got to finish school here and we're going to go and we're going to do other things. So, you know, I tried to fit in with my neighbors and some were cool, some weren't. And uh, it was really expressed at an early point in my life. Um, I went to PS34 in Bushwick Greenpoint. Uh, I lived right across from John Erickson uh, High School. And, um, you know, lo and behold, I didn't know the neighborhood I was in was, was saturated in mafia lifestyle. <laughs> and um, uh, unfortunately, my mom and my, my mom who adopted me, Maria Mary Nunez, she unfortunately passed away when I was 10. But the blessing was that her and my father taught me uh, how to pray and taught me the importance of faith in God and how no matter what you're going through, if you have an issue, take it up with the Lord. Uh, if I'm a Christian. I don't know what faith everybody's here, but um, my mom made sure. And when I went to sleep, she would pray over me, pray over me in Spanish, pray over me in English. She'd cry and pray. And, and, and I was, as a, as a child, I was always wondering, why is my mom crying? Why is she praying? You know, why is she, uh, she was always teaching me um, things like how to cook. And uh, she'd always say to me, um, you know, Johnny, learn this now because I'm not going to be here forever. And I would be like, okay, mom, you know, cartoon drawing on, on, on with crayons. And I would always watch my mom cook. And I would always, my mom bought me an accordion. So I would go to the keyboards. I probably was horrible. But I'm like, mommy, look, I made a song for you. And she would be cooking and I would be playing the keyboard. And I, she'd be like, that was amazing. Want to do another one? I'm like, yeah. And, I, you know, mm -hmm. she gassed me good. So um, unfortunately, when I turned 10, she passed away. Oh, uh, you don't mind what she passed from? She had a stroke. Yeah, and um, it was funny because I remember my, my, my neighbors were telling me, Johnny, uh, you know, go over there. Like, and I was uh, trying to see what was going on as they were taking my mother out. And uh, they were like, no, Johnny, you know, they were trying to cover my face. And um, I had no idea that would be the last time I saw her. And, um, you know, my dad, we had to live in the same home. So you could just imagine my dad was going crazy. Like for three years, he was like pulling out guns, telling people, no one's gonna touch Johnny, I'll kill them, you know, and neighbors. Were, were you the only child? No, I was the youngest. Uh, my, old, my other siblings were older than me. I had a, a sister, Maria, who was the oldest. Paul and Charlie were the second, third, and then my brother, Eddie, he was the baby until I came. Gotcha. So you could imagine the baby heat. <laughs> were were yeah. you the only um, one in the family who was adopted? Yeah, yeah. How did yeah. that work out? Did the family take to you or was it a little no, bit? No, actually some did and some told my father the minute my mom passed away, get rid of him. Really? Get rid of him, put him back in foster care. How'd that ASAP. affect you? I remember hearing some relatives say that and I was like, oh my God, I hope my dad doesn't put me back, you know? And um, I could remember my dad, if you ever grew up with Puerto Ricans, he let them have it with some, some verbal grammar that I can't <laughs> repeat in this room. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.